One possession can lose you the series. Bucks Pacers matchup. It's pretty interesting. You know what to expect. Game two, officially the start of the playoffs, is now Sixers and the Knicks. I really had the 76ers winning this in seven because I really thought that Joel Embiid was 100% healthy. But like looking from game one, you are already holding your knee. Brother, no sir. No sir, the, the Knicks got this for sure. The Knicks got this for sure. I don't think Joel Embiid can keep this playoff up. Like, especially with a, a series like this, where the Knicks are such, like, an intense team. They will fight for every board. Good scoreboard with the Knicks. Hey, watch. Check out the scoreboard tier list on my other channel. I might actually just post it here as well, but that doesn't matter. I was going to say, like, yeah, Joel Embiid cannot keep up this type of play, this type of intensity, and just strength. Nah, bro, not against the Knicks. Maybe against a lesser team, but no. Anyway, let's keep up with the basketball that's been happening. Like, look at this. Josh Hart is going right at Embiid. That's the reason. There's going to be adjustments made. They're like, yeah, go at Embiid. He has a bad knee. He, he can't. Let's try to work him on defense and offense. DiVincenzo, DiVincenzo coming off screens. That doesn't mean that Embiid still won't cook for, you know, like 30 points. But it's going to be very, very difficult to keep this type of play up. Is really what the point is. DiVincenzo, interesting. So, I always like to do this now in these game twos is what did the coach do differently in this game than last game, game one? Because game one is really just like the baseline that you have drawn out for your team to see what you can improve on, what you can maximize on. And so far, I'm seeing way more touches for DiVincenzo than last game. And also, they have made it very difficult for Jalen Brunson to score last game. Let's see if, that's, if, the, if they can still do it this game, too. Oh my goodness, bro. Like, he's slipping and everything, like... I don't know, man. I just don't know. Brunson? Like, look at this. Brunson still had the ball, man. This was like four people. This dude is strong as a mother... Bro, I respect Jalen Brunson so much. Good kick out. You got to make that. You mother... Bro, you are selling Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson got to do everything by himself. He pumps Ubre, got to jump for it, and he still made the mid-range. Bro, Jalen Brunson is so... He's everything right now. He's actually everything. J I've, seen, I've seen somebody put up a compilation of all the bricks that uh, Tobias Harris shot from last game. And they were like, yep, this dude is literally the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the most wanted criminal in the history of the planet. Oh my! Is this McBride? Yep. Now, obviously, one of the most insane things that Tom Thibodeau loves to do... This is such a James Harden move. And I always say this when somebody shoots a step back. But, like, let's, let, let me just dissect this. Let's actually go back. Hold on. That tween tween, if you realize, Harden does this every single bucket that he does. Watch this. He does one, two, three, four. And then and then he go, he does his move, right? It might just be a drive or it might just be a step back three. And this just might be... I think the reason why that always works, because you have to look at Harden to, to actually understand what he does. Just look at a Clippers game and you'll see it. Like, he do it, like, three, four times. And it's uh, it's very apparent. I think the defender kind of like slows down because they don't expect Maxi to get that shift right there. You know what I mean? Like that shift, that last between the legs, that kind of like changes the spin move. Anyway, I'm still talking about that move when we're literally in the second quarter. Let me keep up, bro. I got to lock in. OG. I would assume OG has to get, put up some shots. He got like a low arc. It's not really, you know. Ah, he tried to get low. He tried to battle for low. I see, bro. Look at the way he's like jumping on his knee, man. Batum. But Tumi, you're not about to get a, have a playing game. I'm sorry. Hey, Carmelo's at the game. Shout out to Carmelo. OG, pass it. DiVincenzo, good swing. There, shot. Josh Hart. Yo, if Josh Hart can hit consistently three threes for the Knicks, it's about to be game changing. Yo, Tyrese, he loves that little little English, bro. All right, Carmelo, come on, man. We we mess with you, but like, move up, move away. Brunson with a beautiful shot. Embiid. The whistle is actually not whistling, if you know what I mean. That would have been a foul in the regular season for sure. Now, this is a foul. And he banked it in. Come on, Brunson. Dominate. Oh, damn. Damn, look at the DiVincenzo. He looked at his hand. He was like, damn, that shit hurt. <laughs> Ten points already. Heart. How many threes? How many threes did you shoot? No way. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me, Heart. I told y'all he's going to be... Bro, if he can shoot these threes consistently, it's over for the Knicks. Every one of those points is hurting them. Good pass out to... Yo, Brunson, good decision making too. I'm very impressed from Jalen Brunson. Like, honestly, I did not think he would do this. 
Like, I knew he would get to his buckets, get to his spots and everything. I didn't think his playmaking was this elite as well. And his decision making is very, very good. I feel like every shot that he's taking, like, is going in. Like, it's just so calculated. Maybe the plan for the Knicks is... Because I, I I'm not really seeing them attack Joel and beat like this. I mean, you, you can't really attack somebody like Joel. Never mind, I'm tripping. You see what I'm saying? Keep attacking Joel and beat like this because he's hurt. He's not healthy. Oh, my... You got that dog. He had him going the other way as well. Because like he's hurt. You got to exert as much energy from Joel Embiid as you can. But Batum's going to hit that three. But then on the flip side, I'm like, how can you attack Joel Embiid when he's going to swap that shit anyway? Oubre has not been... He has been very quiet. I feel like the, the Sixers are not really utilizing him too much. Maybe he's getting locked up. Who is actually on OG? Uh, on... Oubre. Maxi? Yeah. Yeah, nah, I think Oubre, he needs to be like a Josh Hart where he, like, at least get, make those three threes, you know what I mean? Bogdanovich. Oh my god, this side, the fadeaway three! What a three! 82 78. They're actually keeping up. Okay, I love this game too already. I love it. Bogdanovich. Tobias Harris, if you don't. Yeah, no, no. Look at, bro, they got Bogdanovich talking to the crowd. That's crazy. Maxi, good pump fake. Good pump. Yo, the fact that you passed it, Ubre, you better score it. You better help him. You don't want to go down 2 0, especially, no, not in this type of environment. Bogdanovich, no way. Ooh, that was. Oh, McBride! Yo, I'll, Maxi took full strength trying to get that ball. McBride, oh, never mind. This is magic. This is magic. Yep, got to a spot. And one! Holy shit! The headband is giving him pus. Yeah, nah, the headband is, is, is it, bro. Is it. McBride again? Yeah, nah. See, that's why I said you can't really go at Embiid like this. Brunson. Yo, like, what, how do you defend Brunson? Actually. Dog. But then you have Maxi too. Do not forget, McBride against Maxi. Maxi, you gotta be there offensively. I mean, defensively as well. Embiid in the post. He got it! Yo, Embiid is so tough. I have no idea. I just hope he's actually healthy. Like, he doesn't really look like he's having fun out there. He's playing because he has to play. You can definitely stand from a mile away. And I'm, I'm 100 miles away. Like, like, the way you jump, like, I don't understand. I'm, looking, I'm just looking at his knee, bro. It's just, it doesn't feel right. It just doesn't feel right. The screen. Screen. He got it. Oh, hold on. We got a close game. We got a close game. I love it. Fakes. I'm passing out. Yes. Good pass on Embiid. Important three. Let's go, Tyree. Step up, man. Step up. OG. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, he jab stepped the hell out of him. Oh, you lucky he missed. Y'all better get the rebound. Good rebound. Good rebound, Sixers. 101 96. I'm not. No lead is safe. No. Holy shit. He got the ball. He got the ball. Shoot it deep in. Chinzo. Brunson. Uh, oh, he rolled in. I thought it was about to be bricked. Okay. We got foul. Foul. Oh, no way. Time out, time out, time out. What the fuck? What the fuck? No. He got the rebound. What is happening? Whoa, Divin says you better make one. He got it. What the fuck is happening? What is happening? What the fuck is this type of movie? How is there no timeout, no foul? Oh, okay, never mind. The draft's got the script. There's Max, he got blocked! He got blocked! Okay, 101, 104. They don't have a timeout. Tyrese Maxi. Pick and roll to Joel on the beat. Why would you give it to Joel? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, Knicks! Okay, Knicks! Damn it, damn it. That was such a good game. They threw a, Oh, what the... They couldn't get the rebound, bro. The entire Knicks lineup went to that last rebound to get it to DiVincenzo. Holy shit. That was a, that was a beautiful game. I told y'all. Game two is when the playoffs start. Peak. I told you it was going to be peak cinema. This was straight out of a fucking movie. Josh Hart playing the entire fucking game. 21 points. 15 fucking rebound. This is a guard. This is Westbrook right here, bro. This is a Westbrook type of stat. Three assists, two steals, and two blocks. Man, DiVincenzo did his part hugely. The Warriors, y'all are selling, bro. I can't believe y'all let him go like this. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. 5 for 10, 4 for 8, hit his threes. Everything was really good. 19 points, 24 for Brunson, 8 for 29. He had a terrible shooting. Like, goddamn, he took 30 shots, which is a good thing. You need to take this, as many shots as you need, bro. As many shots as you need with 8 rebounds as well. He got 8 rebounds. No, nah, no, nah, the Sixers are cooked, bro. The Sixers are done. Y'all are done. Y'all are, are terrible, bro. Y'all let Jalen Brunson get 8 rebounds. 
14 for Hardenstein. He only <laughs> with eight rebounds as well. Everybody's so elite with the rebounding game. OG did his part defensively. He didn't really need to score too much. He still missed a couple of shots, but like it is what it is. Bogdanovic hit it. He had two threes, but then the rest were kind of bricks. But like those were important threes. It doesn't really matter how many he has shot. It is just how many he has fallen, really. McBride. Four for eleven. Really, it seemed like he had a pretty good game, but I felt like you know those are but those are also those important buckets that will determine everything. Damn, Mitchell Robinson still got four rebounds in those eighteen minutes. You know he didn't really shoot as much, or he didn't even shoot at all. I'm actually really impressed with the Knicks. Batum told y'all it's not going to be like a playing situation. Get it out of here. Yeah, the the bench for the the Knicks is uh, the bench for the Sixers is not really there, bro. Ubre, what are you doing? Where's Ubre at? Hold on. Kelly Ubre, two for seven, four points. I told you, but he needs to at least hit like three threes like Josh Hart. Josh Hart is hitting four threes on seven. It's like he's in four for seven, man. 35 for Maxi. He had a pretty good game. He shot beautifully as well. 44 minutes. Played the entire game almost. Six for six, three for the line. Ten assists and nine rebounds. Damn, everybody's just getting rebounds, I feel like. Or just they were just bricking. But they weren't really shooting that bad, I guess. 34 for Joel Embiid. He played 40 minutes. Like I told you, that knee is not really looking good. But he got 10 rebounds. Of course, what do you want to see? Okay, Tobias Harris still 40 minutes and he got 10 points. Like, I'm sorry, bro. He got nine rebounds, I guess. But, like, you were there to score. Specifically, you have to take low. You're supposed to be, like, the third or second option, bro. <laughs> you're not. Uh, you know, like, please prove me wrong. I don't want to be hating on players. But, like, come on, man. Like, you're getting way more. Like, come on. I, I hate to bring up the contract and stuff like this. But it's been a couple of years now since they traded away Jimmy Butler and they kept you. I have never felt like they made the right decision with Tobias Harris. And I felt like every Sixers fan in the history of Sixers fans will tell you the same. We would have rather kept Jimmy. Like, imagine Jimmy Butler right here. I feel like everybody on the Knicks deserves like an MVP trophy. I felt like this was a, a, a complete team effort. This was this never felt like, all right, I'm about to give this ball to Brunson and I'm about to move out the way. It never felt like this. It felt like everybody who had a part in this. Whereas in the Sixers, it just felt like, okay, I don't know. Like, it didn't really, it didn't really click like this. The vibe wasn't there. It, maybe it's just because it was home court advantage. Or not. I don't even know. I'm just excited for game three. Let's just see how they play. Um, it's just tough going. Like, you, you're down 2-0 against a team like the Knicks where you know they come in with momentum. I'm just here for good playoff vibes. So far, the best game of the playoffs. And I can't wait to get to game three. But check out the other reactions. Well, I react to every playoff game. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm going to see you all next time. And do not forget, it's Clippers in five.